What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and today we are going to be overhauling this new color schemed CETA. Now, this is just a re release of the normal CETA with the Omni internals. Those internals are fine if you want, like, a basically a stock kind of performing blaster, but upgrading those things are terrible. Uh, when I purchased this from Evike, I thought that I was going to possibly get the Alpha RT internals for the CETA, and that was false. They advertised it in the listing, but it did not come with that. Now, I was planning on putting that in one of these, either this one or my blue and white one, and then comparing it to the internals that I'm going to put into this today, which are some worker internals for you know your retaliator or whatnot and then the ak blaster mods kit you can get all this from them i already had the worker parts so i just got the parts that are made for the CETA, and that is a very nice metal plunger tube here which is much much better and then we have a new plunger which is cool comes with several different o-rings a I think this is a spring rest and then obviously a much longer and beefier spring which is a very interesting spring size for the CETA. It's very small and thin and whatnot so we'll be using all those including the parts here in the worker kit which will be a very nice addition. A lot of metal internals so this is actually going to be some ways in my opinion probably better than the Alpha. RT kit definitely stronger more so in the lines of the Omni kit if that ever comes out so if Jet wants to send me those products I'd be more than happy to review them and compare them to this that's what I wanted to do but I don't see a need to go out and purchase one at this time so this seemed to be the best option in my eyes from just the research that I've done so we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. We'll go ahead and crack this thing open. I've actually not even opened this yet, so it'll be a slight bit of an unboxing, I guess. There we go. So, this is pretty cool because this version is obviously black, but it also comes with a black or transparent black katana mag, which I really like this color. I don't know if they're selling this color anymore or not, if they've started selling this. I haven't really paid attention because the last time I looked at it, I wanted this and they didn't have this in stock. And then Talons came out and I pretty much switched to those because a lot of the things that I like, like the Talon Claw, only use Talons. They're a lot cheaper and easier to get. So I like the Katanas though, but they both have pluses and minuses in my opinion, but the Talons are just way cheaper, so that just makes more sense. But it's nice that that comes with this. I definitely like that. And it also comes with some already cut down jet nipple tip darts, which are really the only kind of dart that works well in this system, either full length or half length, the Omni system. If you are interested in seeing my review on this, definitely I'll put it up above and in the description of my blue and white one. The exact same performance internals are the exact same. So you can check that out if you're interested. All right, so we have our two halves of the shell, different than normal blasters because they're front half and back half instead of clamshell, but these do clamshell open to get into everything, which we will probably need to do. And there is a hair in my blaster, and that is not my hair. That is very interesting. All right, but uh, I do really like the black and red, and the blue and black also looks awesome. So both of those color schemes are really cool. I just went for the black and red because I already had a blue and white one. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and get these internals installed in here and see what kind of blaster we have in the end.
think we've lucked out here. This actually fits perfectly inside of here. Like that is really tight, so it'll keep that barrel secure and it'll give us a scar barrel or rifle barrel in actuality, but should help accuracy there and that will work nicely. All right, you guys, let's see what kind of performance we're getting out of the CETA now with its brand new internals. I am printing a new grip because this one is not great for really high spring loads, uh, but Jet makes a grip that you can get off a of Thingiverse and print for free if you have a printer. So it should help. It adds a little part back here that kind of gives you something to grip uh, to hold your hand on there. And this is also very slick plastic, so that makes it a little bit more difficult too. So we'll go ahead and prime that back. And we'll put in a Talon mag. Now, this will not work with the Katana mag adapter because it's in the center. And the only way you could get that to work is if you modify the pusher a little bit. But if you printed out a magwell that takes both Talons and Katanas or just Katanas, it's forward facing, that should work fine. Just as long as it's a forward facing mag adapter there. So go ahead and load this up and see what we can get. I am shooting worker darts, by the way, if you could not see that. Let's go ahead and See what we get now. 214. 210, 211. 205. 190. I think the head might have come off of that one, that was a little whirly bird. 182. 210. Whoa, that one, the head just blew right off. <laughs> that one did too. Some of these worker darts I got recently, the glue is just horrible. 192. Blew the head right off of it. 209, 226, 193, 190. So it's a little inconsistent, but you know, solid 200s. I think the darts may have something to do with that with the heads not being glued on super great, but pretty good performance, I'd say. I'm very impressed by that. The prime is a little hefty. Definitely not as easy to prime as like my Talon Claw, but the performance is a bit higher, so I guess it's give and take there. Very compact, very, I love this shell. I love the way it looks. I may even have to paint one of them because, I don't know, should we go red and black or should we go blue and black? I guess that's the question. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and changed it to a blue Cita now, blue and black Cita, and I think that looks really, really cool also. So it's your choice, red and black, blue and black, or blue and white and red and white all four options available to you so that's pretty cool went ahead and threw on that grip which looks really nice printed really nicely uh, i'm not sure if i'm 100 percent satisfied with this grip there's a lot of jagged edges and it's still just i'm not as as comfortable as i'd like so i don't know maybe i'll have to design my own or or something but i did throw on a pretty cool little sight here this is something that was sent to me by NF Strike. Pretty darn cool, tiny little red dot. And I don't know if I can get it in frame. You can see the red dot probably won't be able to, but it turns on actually when you open it up and then turns off when you shut it. Uh, at least I'm assuming it's off when you shut it. So that's pretty cool. Has a little cover and uh, locks onto Picatinny or Weaver rail there. So that's pretty cool. Doesn't work great in combination with the iron sights, Magpul iron sights there, but you know, you can use either or very easily. So that's pretty cool. But this is a really nice little sight, I think, for the size. I mean, it's just really, really tidy. So pretty darn cool. 
But let's go ahead and take a few more shots downrange there at Zombie Strike Man and see how accurate this thing is. There we go. Finally a good worker dart. There we go. Oh, that was my fault, I think. Ah, some of these worker darts are just not the best, and that prime is still really, really hard. So that's like the one downside to this kit is it is a very difficult prime. You know, I guess you just kind of have to get used to it. It's doable, but it's a it's a beefy spring in there, and that's what gives it that performance. So I almost forgot to show you guys how good the seal is on this blaster. And this is even with plugging it with the scar there. So, pretty darn good. I mean, I think it would be even better if I didn't have the scar and I could actually plug, plug the actual barrel, but... Pretty darn good seal, I think. Yeah, it's a pretty cool kit. I think this is definitely the way to go if you want to upgrade your CETA. You know, it's very much just drop-in. Only really thing I had to modify was the screw ports on the breech portion, that blue portion in there. I had to just take a, I think it was a 1 8 drill bit and just widen those holes so the screws would fit down in with the CETA. But other than that, it was very much drop in. Now, if you obviously, if you do want to move that magwell back, you're going to have to modify the pusher a little bit. But other than that, I mean, I think this is a pretty sweet little blaster now and uh, very worthy of a primary for, you know, a 5v5 tournament or any sort of, you know, 200-ish FPS game. So that's a pretty darn sweet blaster. I know my good friend Zombona used this to great effectiveness during the Foam Pro Tour, and he even got like four kills in a row with this to win our match one, one round. So that was pretty darn sweet. I know he's pretty proud of that one. Milan on the right! Milan on the right! Got the flag! Got the flag! Got him. Oh, You're still out. You're still. We win. Wow. Yes. Yes, Ari. Wow. Woo. Yeah. Yes. All right. Let's see how this red dot does now. I'll go ahead and flip this up. I meant to put this on actually when I had the red and black shell on, but you know, oh well, no worries. It's just a color. And we'll go ahead and. Throw in some darts, see how we do. These worker darts are not doing great, but you know, hopefully they'll cooperate here. There we go. You know, I think this thing is pretty darn cool. I really like the size of it. I like how it comes with a cover and that covers it up. Where'd I put that cover, by the way? I've lost the cover. There it is. So just throw that guy on there. It's pretty darn cool. And that protects it. Yeah, I'm, I think that's sweet. I might have to get another one of those in black to kind of go with more stuff, but I like the red. Might have to throw that on one of my Caliburns or talon claws or something but pretty cool hopefully you enjoyed the mini review of this really cool uh, mini red dot site from nf strike i'll put a link in the description where you can get that along with all the stuff for the ceta so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the mod of my ceta i probably am going to have to paint one of these shells i'm probably going to keep the blue and black i don't know i think i like the blue and black better let me know in the comment section and smash that like button please subscribe and as always Peace out.